inside one of these uh, cromlechs. This is from 3000 BC on uh, the Isle of Anglesey. 25 ton rock above my head, which is just astonishing. And they somehow or other in that period managed to drag up onto the rocks that support it. It doesn't look like there's been much done to it in terms of uh, uh, other people here, by the way. Um, 20 to 30 bodies were found here in this burial, communal burial site. Again, it wouldn't simply have been burial, it would have been occasional something so so big and so sort of lush for its age. Uh, it would have been used for um, ceremonial purposes to commune with the dead by the shamans of the tribe, whatever they would have been called in those days. So they would have um, come back here at particular times of the year to give guidance and so on from, from the spirits. Quite an astonishing structure, really. But on the way to that village, we've just passed this 12th century, ruins of a 12th century uh, church. Would have been church Beautiful stone structure is just awesome to look at. So we wander inside of it and have a bit of a stroll. Admittedly, it's not 5,000 years old. But it's old enough and it overlooks the sea outside. This is a stone, some sort of stone pew or something. It's a bell up there, it's from the 16th century. Yeah, bell tower, yeah. Right where the sun is. And down here is quite interesting. What's down there? Some sort of structure underneath the ground. region was well known as a kind of alchemical site. So alchemy, spirituality and uh, the, the changing of the elements uh, were all kind of locked in together, science and religion. So what we're going to see now is the re remains of this Romano-Celtic civilization. It would have been polytheistic deities, some Roman, or well, maybe merged Roman-Celtic. Um, so Phil, you can turn and have a quick look at the, the site. Thank you. 
Yeah. Sure.